Do you need lenses to improve your video? Well, in this episode, I'm going to be talking about the Oki 2-in-1 lens kit, macro and wide angle lenses. All that and much more coming up right here. Cook it here and welcome back to the second episode of the Tips and Strategy video series. In this episode, as I briefly explained in the short intro, we're going to be talking about the Oki 2-in-1 macro and wide angle lens set. Now, before we get into the video properly, if you guys are new around here, definitely consider subscribing to the channel for more Tips and Strategy videos just like this right here on the channel. Let's get into the video. So this lens kit I really appealed to me based on the, just the whole kind of look of it, very sleek, very efficient, very compact and very travel size and I have used this lens set quite a lot for photography and video. Um, the video side more for the wide angle lens because I'll be taking it around vlogging and putting it on either my selfie mode camera or my front view camera on my phone and that fits very well onto that. Um, and that'll be used very well around vlogging, so when I'm moving around you can see everything that's in the shot a lot better. And then if I'm taking photography, generally that'll be close-up macro photography, and I'll use the macro lens for that, and I'll strap it up in the exact same way to the phone. Now, when I got this kit, I, I think I got it off Amazon for about eight ninety nine. that's pounds, so dollars-wise, getting on for eleven ninety nine dollars Um and I, this really appealed to me when it came here i expected it to just be just in a bubble wrap and stuff but it actually came in this really nice case um that says Oki on it obviously due to the brand name so Oki a u k e y and uh we'll open it up now and show you guys what's inside so it's obviously got quite a lot of padding oops it's got quite a lot of padding inside to kind of protect the lenses here's the main lens there's both of them there's the lens cap right there which we'll take off and move away the second lens cap and this can be a little bit fiddly so i'm going to end up knocking my camera over second lens cap so before i show you the actual lens i'll go through the lens cap so that's for the uh, macro lens and that's for the uh, wide angle lens just to fit perfectly on um then the clip which is to go uh, which the lenses screw into and then that clips onto the phone like a slightly bigger bulldog clip it's quite well there we go so that that obviously you open it up and then the phone goes in there and the camera whether that's selfie camera or whether it's front view camera will clip onto your phone like that with the lens screwed in anything else we've got in the case i think there's a carabiner and a lens cleaner so lens wipe there nice oki very very nice material it's kind of like a very felty material i actually quite like the quality of this um and then we have the carabiner in here i'm not really sure what this is for but nice to have it there i guess it can cut uh, i mean it, uh, the only reason i can think of it being there for is to fit onto the actual zip itself and then when i looked the zip is solid there i thought it might maybe attach to that but yeah anyway nice to have there too so quite a nice carabiner anyway um then you've got the very nice felty slick case inside quite black quite nice um, and then folds right down to the really nice travel size. I mean, my hand in comparison, obviously I've got small hands. Fits very nicely within the hand. So quite small case, very nice, very appealing. So now into the lenses themselves. We've got the wide angle lens, you can see there, times 0 0.45. And the macro lens, 15 times. I'll separate these out. So here we have the macro lens. Actually, I didn't really work. I, I, I was really stupid when I first got these. I never really worked out how lenses worked, and I put my finger in the lens and everything, and I figured out how it actually works, which is quite interesting, actually. Um, but yeah, I really quite like that. And if you can actually see, I'll strap it onto the phone in a minute and do a little bit of a test with it. But um, you can see quite well there. It's, it's obviously getting a little bit fuzzy, but. Um, yeah, I really like this macro lens. It's quite nice and fits onto the clip very well. On to the wide angle lens. We've got a more slick feel. And that, this one was the one that I was thinking of, actually. When you look inside it, you've got kind of a weird effect. You stick your finger in it, it kind of goes down quite far. I don't really know how it worked, though. Um, and then uh, quite a nice, clean finish on the front. Now, I don't know whether this is supposed to be the case or whether I have just been really dumb 
it says Oki on the other side, by the way. Um, but something I found when I was going through this, and I, it could either be just like a bug or a fault with my one in particular, but I couldn't really be bothered to get it sorted out, I'll be quite honest, um, was when strapping on the macro lens by itself, it went on, and that was fine, and I could strap on the macro. When I went to strap on the mi micro... Oh, hang on. There we go. When I went to strap on the wide angle lens, it didn't work as well. Now this one fits on very nicely, and then I'll strap that onto my phone in just a second. And that one fitted on quite well, which is the macro lens. When I go to fit on the wide angle lens, clean off the lens a little bit first. Use my uh, yeah. Um, when I fit on this one, it doesn't seem to fit. Now I don't know what that problem is as such, but it just doesn't seem to want to fit on there. That doesn't seem to marry up very well and I don't know why obviously I have been looking at quite a bit up here because I've been focusing on doing it myself I'll try and hold it more to the camera so you can see what I'm talking about so you can see that's supposed to screw on there and then when I hold it into where it's supposed to screw there's not enough space to clear it to be able to screw it on so the, the wide angle doesn't screw on by itself which does seem to be a bit of an issue with that and I will point that out right here and now but I highly doubt that would be the case with any of yours I think that's just a fault with mine in particular but it could just be me being really stupid on not knowing how to do this properly but I do think I know how to screw something on so I will give this another go a bit later before I do the test to see if I can get that attached on so I think I've reviewed everything now properly um, I'll just go through everything briefly again. Lens what lens cleaner, carabiner, lens caps, case, clip, and the lenses themselves. So, gone through everything really of that, and now I'll skip through to the lens test. Okay, so my uh, phone is a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, and you can see this floor pretty well. But when I was go fully in. I'll get in as far as I can without this going really blurry. Which actually just goes in further than I remember it doing. Now that can't really focus anymore. That is the max focus. So I'm going to try and support it at that point. So as I move out again, you can see it's very much in focus all the way to the floor. And then when I add in the macro lens once it's gone blurry again, which I'll try to do as cleanly as possible, which I've done fairly as before with, you can see it focuses very well in, and I can go in a lot, 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 lot further. And obviously, this times 15 zoom, or I guess you class it as zoom. And I'm going to go in as far as I possibly, possibly can, because I've never really tested this out fully myself. You can get very far in before I actually you just lose focus about there. I'm going to try and angle this light a little bit more so you can see whether it will angle it any more. No, that is about the limit there. But if I take the lens off again now, you'll be able to see how blurry this actually is. Yeah. You can see how much that lens helps. I'm switching the lens on and off. I think it's pretty clear when the lens is on. But yes, that is the macro lens. And that's the brief test of the macro lens. It fits in very nicely to the... Uh, set because obviously two and one um, fits quite well and the good thing about these two lenses is because they're two and one once I've unscrewed it from the actual clip itself try and do one handed once it's unscrewed from the uh, clip itself you can then screw the wide angle lens on top and then you have effectively two and one together so you can actually strap them together so that they have the same effect but obviously because it's a macro lens it doesn't focus as well wide angle as it would wide angle on its own um, but it still does the job as best possible because I cannot actually strap the wide angle on by itself to the clip as I explained earlier um, and also demonstrated I suppose earlier um, I strap them together to be able to use the wide angle so I'll strap the wide angle on now to the clip but actually I will, I will show you this first the actual like colours and everything, it's just such a really slick lens. It's not just any older lens and everything, it's it's very well made, and apart from the slight fault with mine in particular, but I highly doubt that'll be with yours as well. Okay, so anyway, you can see how everything is there. I'll slip the wide angle on. 
now everything gets slightly wider as you can see there on the left hand side just keep watching the left hand side of the screen keep watching the left hand side of the screen and I'll put it away in three two one and the other things aren't even in the shot anymore put it back on keep watching the left and they're out of the shot again it's so so good with that wide angle lens and especially the further away something is so obviously if you're really close up and everything it's it's a, it doesn't really have as much an effect on when you're out and about and you're maybe 10 15 meters away from something that's further out the shot you add the wide angle lens you get those extra things in the shot and you get a much clean like cleaner uh, more sophisticated shot when you are taking videos outside particularly involving vlogging videos as I do on the channel. So this lens kit is probably one of the best around and especially for the price of $8.99 for two very 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 good lenses in my opinion it is definitely worth the money and definitely worth the payout and especially if you're good with photography you don't have to just be doing video but any source of media involving either photography or video making video production then these are the lenses or lens kit for you now I'll just lay everything out again so that you can see it all once and for all but uh, yes this is definitely definitely a very worth worth set for you to go and buy and for the price that it is it's definitely worth it so I'll overview everything again tell you what everything is so you can make your informed decision on whether to buy this kit or not so we have the lens at the back over here obviously with all the felt and everything lovely inside the macro lens lens um, the uh, wide angle lens lens or lens cap that's what I mean the carabiner lens wipe the clip that goes over your phone macro lens and the wide angle lens now I will say again about the when you attach the thing on with the clip um, when you are attaching it it doesn't just have to be on the front facing camera this can be on both the selfie mode camera and the front facing camera now for vlogging if you are using your phone you obviously want to have a viewfinder so you doing it in selfie mode is very helpful so to have that ability as well is very good and the only thing I would say about that is when you do have it on selfie mode you do have quite a bit of spare material maybe from about there for the rest of the phone and that can be a little flimsy so I have found when I attach it on sometimes you have a little bit of jig around as you're moving around and then it can be tilted out and then you have a strange light effect on the camera so obviously something to look out for there but if I was to conclude here on a out of 10 scale 10 being the best lens kit ever one being the worst I would I would base it on about a nine eight eight and a half nine um, based on everything that I've seen here and um, yeah so I hope you go on to buy this lens kit I'm not sponsored for this video at all by any companies either Amazon or Rocky or anything like that at all this is purely off my own back just to show you guys this lens kit that I bought a little while ago and has lasted me very well so anyway hope you guys did enjoy this video thank you so much for checking out the video and if you are new around here definitely consider subscribing to the channel for more content just like this here on the channel make sure to leave a like down below check out all the links in the description down below and if you have any comments questions or suggestions leave them also in the comment section down below make sure to come back next week for the next episode of the tips and strategy video series but for now my name is Vin Coolcat and goodbye